hello kids good morning to all so in previous class we learn in a previous session we learn about uh, shelter it's a variety right so about it is dip, we construct the houses depend on climatical condition and the available availability of the materials which we getting from the particular region right so here we'll go for the next session this is our second session where we going to learn about it's a small story about venkaji okay about his living how he is living and the other living uh, how they are living in their shelter or their houses okay it's a story now let's listen to the story told by venkaji so is a person who is telling the story venkaji lived in a village for a long time and then came to her grandson's house which is in multi storied building in bengaluru so he is a village person venkaji is a village person who has come to his grandson his grandson means mommaga okay so here he has come to his grandson's house it, uh, which is located in bangalore and he has he is living in a apartment which is multi storied building she was surprised at that splendor she say on the so she sat on the when okay it's a venkaji okay so here she is sat on the sofa and went back to the memories of her childhood days so she is a living in a small village where she is come to bangalore and she is remember him ring her childhood days so i was a small girl then i lived with my three sisters two brother and parent in that thatched hut so here so she is remembering now she has see a multi store building so she was remember how was her house was so she is living with a, a three sister two brother with a parent with a attached house means it's a like a hut okay so she is living in a hut okay in in this small house they are living how many people three sister two brothers and parents about seven people in this hut or how hut would leak when it rained right so these huts are not safe uh, what these are not strong so they have made with a hay so here these are leaking in the rain in raining during summer the leaves on that that thatched roof would dry due to heat right so they it's a uh, grass what dried grass in the rainy season it will leak in the uh, summer time these dry, uh, these leaf these uh, grass will get dried making holes of on in them one day our, our hut caught fire and was burnt brown burnt down after that my parents decided to build a house my father taking the help of another person so right build the mud walls so they have a uh, what these detached house which is what totally burnt it this uh, this uh, grass or leaf will easily catch the fire 
so suddenly it it caught it caught fire and burned down everything got burned so what they will do so their parents have decided to build a house my father taking the help of another person build the mud house they usually they don't have any uh, mason or any engineer to construct their houses they uh, used to build their house their own so that uh, venkatji's father took others other person help to build their houses now they have improved so it, this is no use right that many kids were there there is no use of this house so they have decided to make mud house so with the help of other person his father have built what mud walls with the my father brought bamboos from the nearby forest i along with my mother brother sister brought small bamboos so here they used to, there is no sale they used to do they are getting from the forest they got said they have made a mud walls for roof they have put bamboos so these are compared to this these are what bamboos are safe right so here they are more even strong they got from forest and even these brother brother, brother and sister also help their mother to get bamboos from forest we place them on the mud walls and spread mud clay on them later we went round the open field and collected cow dung right so with the help of bamboos and the clay clay means what uh, what the paste of mud if if they mix into water they can make a clay so from that they can do their house so they have spread mud and clay on them and in a open field the cow dung which is more helpful right they use they usually covered with a cow dung only okay my mother mix it in water pasted on the floor walls with the with it so after the mud floor here they have placed with a cow dung so here we decorate the front of house put rangoli and enter the house right so if you decorate more with the rangoli it's look more beautiful the house is already ready right so they have decorate with the beautiful rangoli i grew and got married i come i came to my husband house that house was better than ours the walls were built with the burnt bricks and they were white washed the mangaluru tiles were used for roofing so here after venkatji got married so first they have a this hatched hatched hut then after that they use bamboos and mud to build their house after she got married so the the house is more improved right so which is built with mang mangaluru tiles okay even it's like a mangaluru tiles means with a red or a maroon bricks okay the flooring was done with the black stone the door were made of wood with a beautiful carving on it right so carving means the design you can see on uh, doors right so the board windows allowed light ventilation in into the house right so for the house without ventilation without in air 
so we can't live right so it need big uh, big windows to ventilate right for the uh, good light the bold windows allowed light the ventilation into the house the neighbor also had a constructed good house similarly but they used slabs of stone roofing cement ro uh, flooring had a smooth surface so the neighbors who stay near the venkatji even they have built their house with a cement flooring so it look more neat right so here i did not have a smear the ground with a cow dung or a mud i had to clean uh, cleanse the floor with the water so you know in her house they have a cow dung they used to clean every time but here after getting married so it's a stoned one the tiles they have so she she need to just clean with the water venkat ji who began to sip coffee given by her grandson so she is just remembering all those things now her grandson had give uh, began to sip a coffee given by her grandson remembering the house of her daughter she was concentrate house with a marble flooring colored walls a small garden around the house and the compound her house with a with all these facilities was really beautiful and she has a beautiful house with a marbles tiles and she has a beautiful garden so it's it's look so beautiful venkat ji is now looking at the apartment of her grandson so it's a 1520 storied building with more than 500 houses it's a 15 to 20 floor building in their apartment there is around 500 houses in a in their apartments there is a lift service to reach houses on the top floor right so you can't climb you can't step out stepping staircase we can't take staircase so they have a what lift certain machines were used to construct these houses there are three bedrooms dining room and living room in the in this house everything is really fine still houses are constructed like a match boxes arranged closely there is some problem of ventilation and light wardrobes are constructed to arrange the household articles in an orderly fashion doors and windows are not of wood they are made of steel or a plastic right so how the grandson's um, house is like it's very modern right it has three bedroom and dining hall kitchen everything is there but there is no ventilator because they have a big apartments right so you don't get the vent proper ventilation and the light right so here venkat ji was surprised to observe the changes in the construction of the house from the huts to multi storied buildings what have you learned from this story right so they have made many changes right so from this hut to she have reached to multi storied building right so they have struggle they have she have venkat ji seen many other many different kind of houses right so so it very important that we need ventilation right so we need light so without that i don't think whatever the facility we have it's not look more beautiful right so 
the very important for the house is ventilator good air right so here see here name the five types houses that appear in the story of venkatji so what are the first one is hatched hut then with the bamboo house we can say and it's a uh, bricks okay washed it has a uh, what next to surface cement cement house right so it has a proper ventilator everything right so here the next with uh, she have made with the cow dung right next with the cement with the mangalore tiles okay with the and multi store building okay so here see the next one what changes have taken place in your locality in the construction of houses okay as elder and right so here there is a many changes in your locality you must your father have seen there is they might have telling right there is no house before that when we come here there is no house but now we can see many houses here right so you must have heard this material used for the purpose of construction are changing right uh, usually when they have start with the bricks right so uh, bricks grass hay mud cow dung but now they have improved a lot from cement to uh, cement bricks and what a steel they have uh, pop there are many other things which is improving still improving right so they have seen many changes now the know the price and right one bag of cement now one year ago this is your activity that you should try and write okay now see the next one know the type of wood used for the construction of house here are the pictures of material that are essential for the construction of house put a right mark the material that is used for the construction of your house okay the first one you can see is what tiles or a brick yes the uh, mud cement mud or a cement so nowadays we can't see a houses made with mud right so with the cement you can mark tiles toilet then these are what bricks so here tiles bricks yes it's depend on the your house which uh, you have used to construct your house right steel sheet or the red bricks yes it's a steel with the steel or some who have a sheet they can use they can take these sheets too okay there is a change in the construction of houses is there any changes in the shelter of the animal and the bird observe yes so only we want uh, shelter no right so every creature creature means animal human birds insects everybody need shelter to live right so here they had given some animal name so we should find their shelter and the material which is used for their shelter okay so see the first one sparrow can you tell me where it live in nest right so for the nest you need yarn so which has very thin uh what what we can say uh it's like a wool okay so it's very uh, thin 
we are getting from the trees so it will collect and make their houses okay see the next one white ant so white hand ant need termites right so you have uh, seen there is a hole and there is a full of mud it's their house so with the mud only they can uh, build their house weaver bird so a uh, weaver bird from the weavers so even the houses is also called weaver only so it need a mud and wood okay parrot where the parrot live in the cage which is made with um iron steel anything could be tiger live in den it is with rock fish lives in pond woodpecker woodpecker is uh, uh, itself it's telling wood it's always uh, hacking wood and making hole in tree only right so in tree only it will make uh, their shelter there they live in their houses only crow crow where it live even it need in nest frog pond and as well as land which is dry so it need in their spaces rat hole right honey bee it need hive so snake need hole or a tree okay there is a variety of shelter of animal also they use different material to build their shelter don't they yes so only we don't need shelter every creature need shelter so do it yourself try to build the shelter of animal with paper cardboard grass dry leaves etc how build a house with a material like matchbox cardboard mud bricks which are easily available you can make a small shelter even we used to give what grains to those animals for those uh, birds right they usually come and they have their grains right so even you can make a small uh, what shelter where i don't think the birds will come at least to uh, if you put the grain they definitely come and eat okay do you know this so burj khalifa is dubai is the tallest building in the world its height is 8 to 29.2 meters it's about 2722 feet so it's a most uh, what uh, it's a tallest building in dubai which burj khalifa dharavi so it's a dharavi is a uh, it's it's in mumbai it's a slum area it's a most uh, large slum there's about 10 lakh people live in a small it's about it's it's very big right so in that space in that particular space there is around 10 lakh people live it's what it's the largest slum area of asia nowadays some projects have been in implemented to construct eco friendly houses by using the material in a limited way people are interested to construct houses by adapting solar heater to heat water rain water harvesting management of garbage etc in their house itself right so uh, we are many machines we are many uh, things that we can heat the water heater and all so it waste of electricity by using solar system we are directly getting hot water right so some people are started using eco friendly it will not be uh, uh, harmful to the environment right so 
uh, these are the solar from where we are getting uh, sunlight so directly we get hot water right so like that and the rain water harvesting they store they will store water and they have made whatever the pipeline we are giving so it will go and waste right what it will store in a particular place right it's uh, rain water is the most cleanest water right we are getting all the pu it's a purified water so if we store it we can use it in any time right so even the people start using harvesting rain water okay there are records about the ant hill which is which spread for the for more than 650 acres they are called great nest lack lacks of ant live in them right so you must have seen this right ant hill so there is around lack of ants live it's about 650 650 acres you might have seen it's look very small when you see it right so you must have seen it. this is a large small but it will take almost most of the part of area to construct by ants okay so even this is what ant hill so it's built with with those small ants okay so this is all about today's class so in, in first session we learn different kind of uh, shelters buildings about houses right so in the second part uh, venkatji's story where she see many construction of what many variety of shelters right it may differ right there's time to time there is a many changes but it always protect us right so this is all about today's class shelter right so try to keep our environment keep our surrounding clean right if you keep our surrounding clean we definitely will be the uh, happier and the more healthier person okay thank you for watching kids have a great day